Hi guys and welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be filming for you guys the most requested video probably ever. This is also the question that I get asked the most and that is about my eyelashes. So today's video is going to be all about lashes. It's going to be how I take them off, how I apply them, how I store them, how I clean them, what kind I wear, where I buy them, all the questions that I get asked almost on a daily basis about my eyelashes, especially when I wear them. Wearing false eyelashes kind of gave me like a confidence boost. It made me feel prettier. So um, that's why I wore them. And I actually started wearing eyelashes when they weren't as popular as they are now. Like they weren't, at least where I am, they weren't like mainstream. Like now eyelashes are about as normal as putting on mascara. Almost everyone wears them or at least have tried to at some point. Um, when I started wearing them, it was like, there wasn't a huge selection at the store to pick from. People thought it was really kind of weird. I used to get like, kind of like the weirdest looks. <laughs> I don't know if it was people trying to figure out if they were real or not. Um, but anyways, fast forward all these years later and um, they're kind of like, I don't know, I put them on like second nature. It's just and uh, it's really easy and uh, but a lot of people will tell me I've tried to wear them and um, I can't do it uh, it's too hard and I'm gonna show you guys it's actually very very easy if you follow these steps and with anything practice makes perfect the first time I put on eyelashes at least probably the first couple of times or handful of times that I put on eyelashes um, it didn't go so well <laughs> uh, I had glue everywhere I had glue on my fingers I had it all over my face uh, so just keep that in mind that, um, you know, it just takes some time uh, in following these little steps that I'm going to show you um, and how to do it. And before you know it, you'll be a pro at putting on lashes too. So if you want to see all about lashes, then just keep watching. I have my basket here that I keep all of the various lashes that I have. I have a ton. Um, that I have accumulated over the years and this is not all of them I have more in my drawer over there, but I just didn't think that it made sense for me to bring out all of them So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys the lashes that I wear most often and the eyelashes that I never wear um, Just because I'm not as crazy about the style so you should know that there are a ton of lashes nowadays to pick from. Luckily, um, we've come so far and thankfully there is a much wider selection of lashes and better made lashes. Um, back then, like I said, there just wasn't many to pick from when I started. So I definitely love the selection that you can get now. You can buy them just about anywhere. I get most of mine from Walmart because it's the cheapest. Uh, but you can buy them at Walgreens or CVS or um, they have some at Ulta. They have a pretty nice selection at Ulta. Um, you can even get more expensive ones at Sephora and online. Um, Sally's even has a nice selection. But I feel like Sally's is pretty expensive and way more expensive. They have the same ones at Walmart. Now, Walmart went through a phase where they had a nice selection. And I don't know what's going on nowadays. It seems like they'll go through phases, at least at my Walmart, where they'll have a large selection and then all of a sudden they'll be like, I'll go in and like, it's all sold out. So I don't know what's up with that. So don't throw these containers away when you get them because it's a great way to store your lashes. So I always keep these. Now for myself, um, what I personally like to wear are um, wispy lashes. The more natural looking the lashes, the better. I really, really love um, a natural looking lash. I don't really like lashes that are too funky. I have an example of those right here. These lashes I consider to be quite funky lashes. Um, these are just lashes that my mom saw at a store and picked up for me and she thought I'd want to wear them, but um, I've tried them on and they're just too much. Too much lash for me, but um, you know, some people really like these and they, I have seen them on girls and they look really cute, but I don't like them on myself. So I never wear them. These are another example. I can't remember where I got these, but I think that um, I thought these looked good in the package and then tried them on and I did not like them. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Sometimes um, you really have to try out several different lashes to kind of find what you like. Um, 
a lot of times the lashes will look smaller or bigger in the package. Um, so you really have to try them on yourself to kind of get an idea. Um, these are another type of lashes that I have actually been loving. These my mom also bought for me. They were like in a huge set for like a dollar at this like discount store. So never, I mean, like I said, you can get lashes everywhere now. And um, I really, really like these. These are not my all time favorite lashes, but I have a ton of them. And these are like the kind that I would wear for maybe a day or so and then toss because they're so cheap. And um, yeah, and they're not super, super durable, but I do like them. Um, these are a pair that I got from the Crim Shop online. Um, I saw a lot of people talking about these and I really wanted to try them out and I was kind of disappointed. Um, I really like lashes that look like this. I don't know if you guys can be able to see. But see how it's kind of like, um, like spaced out. These are supposedly 100% human hair lashes. But I don't know, I was just really disappointed with how these looked on. So um, I liked how they looked online, but I didn't like how they looked on me. Now my all-time favorite lashes right now, like that I am loving, are these right here. Actually um, were gifted to me by um, my friend Paula. Shout, so shout out to Paula, she knows me really well. Um, these are like perfect. These are actually the ones I have on right now. They're like not too big, they're not too small, they're like perfectly wispy. Um, the band is really thin, that's another thing for me. I don't like lashes with really thick bands because it's very uncomfortable. So that's what these look like. And I actually have tried this brand before and I wasn't in love with any of them. I hope you guys can see how they look and there's not like a glare. I wasn't in love with any of these until I got these. So she picked the perfect ones and I love them and I would definitely be repurchasing them. I've already gone through two. The first one um, I was planning on keeping and then I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm on the second set now. So I'm trying to hold on to those um, so they will last me a long time. And this is the last pair of lashes that I'm going to show you guys. This is the Vizio Free. I purchased these off of Amazon. I can't remember how much I paid for them. I think they were like maybe 10 or $12. I don't usually spend that much on lashes, but these are mink lashes, and I've always wanted to try and see if they were better or worse or what the hype was. Um, they're very, very soft. I'll show you guys. They're very soft um, and very pretty, but way too big for me, um, especially to wear on a daily basis. So, um, they're actually not very comfortable. I mean, they are for being like as big as they are. They're more comfortable than I thought they would be when I opened them, but they're not comfortable like for me to wear every day, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, um, cause I just don't want to wear lashes this big every day, but they're beautiful. So if you're in the market for a big voluminous pair of lashes, then, um, you might like these. So that is all of the lashes that I'm going to show you guys in the video because I think that kind of covers um, all of kind of the variety that you can get. And like I said, there's so many more like in stores. Uh, I do have these, which um, I'll mention. You can also buy um, individual lashes that you can put on yourself. And I've tried that before, but I'm not very good at it. So... Um, so yeah, I thought I would just mention that. I usually wear um, just the strip lashes. So that's my go-to as far as lashes. I will list these all in the description. So if you're interested in any of the ones, like at least the ones that I can find, uh, I will list down below. So now how I take care of my lashes and how I store them. A lot of people ask me, when you buy a pair of lashes, do you use them once and throw them out? Absolutely not. Even if it's I mean, unless you paid like cents for it, like these, then maybe, yeah. But if I'm paying, you know, three, four, five dollars or more for lashes, I'm going to try and use it as many times as I can, but that's just me. So, um, how I 
take care of them is very important. I've never had a problem. I've never gotten an infection from this um, because I take really good care of my lashes. And I'm going to show you um, when I take these off, how I take them off and store them. And then I'm going to show you how I apply them. But absolutely, I always um, reuse my lashes uh, to save money. And yeah, I just think that's the best way to go. So now I'm going to show you guys how I take off my lashes and then how I reapply them. And it's going to look kind of funny, so just bear with me. But this is legitly how I take my eyelashes off. And also keep in mind that when I take them off, um, it's going to pull some of that makeup off, um, uh, some of my eyeshadow off, so it's going to look kind of funky. But... Uh, you'll see. You'll get the idea. So at night when I go to take off my lashes, that's the first thing that I do. I just pinch them, usually in the corner like this, and I'm just going to pull it off like that. So if you guys can see the difference between what it looks like with lashes versus without. Now I have this lash. Um, I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see, but if you, but there is glue. There's going to be glue left on your eyelashes once you um, take it off. When you have that glue left on your lashes, you want to pull it off. And this is one thing that a lot of people, um, I think, will they'll ask me about and they don't think about doing is removing the glue. Um, I've had people say, well, I have like all this glue buildup and when I put it on, it looks funny. And yeah, if you don't pull the glue off, it's going to continue to build up every single time and it's going to be one big mess and every time you try and apply it, it's just it's not going to look right. So try and get as much of the glue off as possible, um, even if there's some kind of a little bit further down. You want to make sure that you get all of it off. Now over time, there's going to be pieces that get on here that you're not going to be able to take off. If it gets down towards in the lash and you can't get it off, then at that point it's time to chunk them and get a new pair. Um, but in the beginning it should be it should be pretty easy to get all of that glue off. So now I've got a lash that is pretty much glue free. Um, I'm going to take that box that I showed you guys, and this is exactly how I store them. I'll usually sometimes wipe them off, too, with, um, with some, like, um, alcohol. If you take alcohol on a Q-tip and just kind of, like, run that along the lashes, that just kind of, um, helps sanitize them. This is something I don't do every single time because I... I forget and I get kind of lazy, but it is a good habit to form because it keeps your eyelashes nice and clean. And then I will put them in there like that. See? And then I'll just stick it in this little clear thing and that's how I store it. And I keep these all over. I keep them in my purse. I keep them in my drawers here. I keep them in the bathroom. So a lot of times that's, I take off my makeup in the bathroom. So sometimes I'm just too lazy to come all the way back in here and bring my lashes. Um, so yeah, that is, that's is how I keep them. Um, sometimes like if I'm out in town and I don't want to wear them anymore, or they're coming off. That's a good re, um, that's why it's good to keep some in your bag so that if you need to take off your lashes, you can, you can take them off and put them in your bag. And, uh, and that's it. So now I'm going to show you guys how I reapply it or how I would apply it if I'm going to wear them. So lashes is always the last step for me in my makeup routine. This is the glue that I'm using. This is the duo. It's how it looks. It's supposed to be black, but it actually kind of comes out as um, gray. But I prefer to use the darker glue because it blends in better with like mascara and eyeliner than like the clear I feel like the clear kind of dries a little bit yellowy and sometimes you can see it. So um, there's many different types of glues out there. This is just the one I happen to have at the moment. I did have another one that was like um, for sensitive skin, which I really like and I need to repurchase, but I'm out of it. Um, the glue that I used to have all the time was the Revlon uh, lash glue and they discontinued it. I can't find it anywhere, but that was like the best glue. And how I apply this is, I'm going to try and get up close so you guys can see. Um, I'm just going to take, just squirt out very little. I'm going to be careful and not get too much. 
and then you just want to stay like right on along that band. I'm going slow so you guys can see, but I usually do this pretty fast. If you guys can, hopefully you guys can see. Um, yeah, so I just go all along the band. Sometimes I do a little bit extra on the ends and then in the middle because uh, that's where it tends to kind of start to come off. I'll put the lid back on here and now is the most important part about putting your lashes on is don't go and put your lashes on right away. That's going to create a huge mess and it's never going to work. So you got to wait. I like to just kind of hold mine and maybe count to 20 or you know something like that. Wait, I don't know. Um, but a good 20 seconds is typically how long I wait. Sometimes I'll actually put the glue on, sit it down, and I'll apply my mascara or whatever else that I need to, to do really quick or my lipstick and then I'll pick it back up and put it on because by then it is tacky enough. So that's the key is you want it to be nice and tacky before you put it on because if it's too wet it's just going to slide all over your eye and like I said create a big mess. You also don't want to wait too long because if you wait too long then the glue will get too dry and then you won't be able to uh, to get it on either. So I have my mirror over here and that's how I'm going to put it on. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So I just apply mine with my fingers and I'm just pushing it on as I'm applying it. And of course, like I said, it pulled off all of my um, eyeliner, so I would need to apply my eyeliner at this point. So this is what I do. I just keep kind of playing with it until I feel like it's on there, and you should be able to feel like if it's pretty secure or not. So that's basically it. So like I said, don't mind my eyeliner because it looks crazy now, but that's that's how I put it on and it's really simple. See, the most important thing is just waiting and, um, and then it'll apply pretty easily. So now I like to kind of just wait and let it kind of sit on there and then what I'll actually do is I'll just take my fingers and kind of try pinching it together. And what else you can do is I'll take my um, lash curler, I couldn't think there for a minute. So I'll just kind of get all the lash in there, make sure all your lashes in, and then pinch it together. So this just kind of helps your natural lashes kind of adhere to the false ones. And there you go. That's how you apply it. And it's as simple as that. And so, yeah, that's how I've been doing it all this time. I hope that was helpful. Um, now, I would just go back and, like I said, fix my eyeliner, but I'm not going to do that. While I'm still wearing false eyelashes, absolutely, I still put on mascara because mascara helps um, the lashes to kind of stick together when you're doing that, when you're pinching them or using the lash curler. Having something on your lashes helps it to just stick together because you don't want your lashes and then like the false eyelashes and having that gap because that's a dead giveaway that you are <laughs> wearing false eyelashes. Um, so you definitely want to get them sticking good together. Sometimes I will take my mascara and I will actually apply it on the lashes. I'll show you guys how I do that. I don't do it like how I would put mascara on my actual lashes. This is the Milk Kush um, mascara that I'm using. So I will just barely put any on. Just at the tips really. Sometimes if I feel like they need a little something. And that's it. So just very very little mascara on the false eyelashes, but I put mascara completely and coat my actual lashes one or two times, put the false eyelashes on, and then sometimes I'll put uh, mascara on the false eyelashes. I feel like too sometimes that helps them to look a little bit more real 
So very, very simple. And the best advice I think I could give you is if you try it and it doesn't work and you mess up, don't give up. I have so many people tell me I wore lashes once and it was a disaster and I'll never do it again. Um, I think that's anyone's experience. Um, I don't know anyone who puts on lashes for the first time and it just goes like amazingly. I don't know. Um, nowadays I don't wear them as much as I used to. They used to be like really a security blanket for me and I had to have them on. I would not leave the house without them. I thought that I looked terrible without them. Uh, so I would not even be seen without lashes on um, and I was pretty addicted to it. <laughs> Uh, nowadays I don't wear them very much, mainly probably because I've just gotten lazier as I've gotten older and I just, I don't feel like putting them on every day. Um, but also I guess I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with how I look without them. So, um, so definitely have fun with them, enjoy them, don't let them become an addiction like they were for me because you are beautiful with or without them. I hope this video helped, I hope I covered everything, um, of course if you have any more questions, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. Anything that I didn't cover in this video, I'm sorry if the video was too long. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. Uh, but I did want to make it as informative as possible, as always. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, bye!